Hi, this is Joey Hannigan, agronomist of Vex Hybrids in Wisconsin. Standing out here on a warm and muggy day here in late June, looking at one of our soybean PFR trials, in particular the one where we're looking at the different nitrogen rates and delivery methods on soybeans. So it's not very common to put nitrogen on soybean plants, uh, but on a year like we're having, we'll actually see some pretty interesting differences from this trial. Uh, we're having a cool, cloudy, and very wet spring so far here in May and June. And with that, we haven't had great soybean growth. I don't think we've had very good soil biological activity either. And of course, the Brady rhizobium, the bacteria that create those nodules on our soybean roots, they're part of that soil biological space. If they're not very active, if they're not moving very quickly, uh, they're a little bit slow to get going as well. So not only are the plants growing slow, I think we're going to have pretty slow or lazy uh, nitrogen delivery from those nodules. No fault of their own, just cool, wet, damp, saturated conditions nothing really moves very quickly. So with that, I'm going to dig up some of the plants we've got in some of these treatments. We've got different rates of nitrogen applied to these beans and just see what we can see here in the early uh, first third of the season on these bean plants, see what differences we've got and see if we can at least make any early observations on how these plants are doing. I've got four different treatments dug up here. From left to right, we've got a bean plant that had zero nitrogen applied. We've got one that had 15 pounds of nitrogen applied. We've got one that had 30 pounds applied, and finally one that had 60 pounds applied. You can see those labels right there by the plants, and that green line represents what was the soil line. And you could be, it could be seen in the field as well as on the whiteboard here, but we do get plants that are taller or have more vegetative growth everywhere from ranging up from that zero pounds applied all the way up through the 60 pounds applied. And then if I zoom in here on the roots themselves, we do have really good nodulation where there was no nitrogen applied. We've got nodules right on the tap root, We've got nodules on the lateral roots as well. Moving up to the 15 pounds of applied nitrogen, um, similar nodulation. The root structure is a little different on this particular plant, but we definitely still have nodules on the plant, on the tap roots, on the lateral roots. As we move up to both the 30 pound and the 60 pounds of applied nitrogen, we still have nodules, but there are definitely less. I didn't do any official counts with a big sample size to get an official number yet, but there are definitely less nodules when we have both 30 pounds applied and when we have 60 pounds applied. Again, there are still nodules there. We did not inhibit nodulation. So what we're seeing is more early season vegetative growth when we applied nitrogen, particularly on a year like this where we had slow soybean growth, but we seem to have had less nodules. Um, stay tuned for more results. Less nodules does not mean less nitrogen fixation, but definitely is something we could observe as we look at these different nitrogen rates on these soybeans here in 2024.